knock, knock. Pretty little child, let me in. Oh, I'm sorry, old lady. I cannot let you in. Look, what I have for you. Oh, but that looks like a really nice apple. Take it, it's sweet. Oh no! Help! Help! Somebody help! Help! Didik TV KPM Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. How are you all doing? So I'm talking to you from inside the mirror and I'm going to go outside. I'm going to come out of the mirror. Oh no, I can't fit into the mirror. All right. Anyway, welcome today joining us on D-Date TV KPM. And my name is Hanif Sean. And today, together, we will be learning English Level 2. And I'm sure everyone is very excited for what we're going to learn today because we saw Snow White and she fell. And we saw the Evil Queen. And you know what? What I like? Snow White made healthy choices where she likes apples. And I hope all of you are taking your fruits and vegetables at home. That's very important for you and again we would like to remind all of you we are still fighting against COVID-19 and how do we continue our fight against COVID-19 let's follow the SOPs in place with three simple steps first step to wear your mask that covers from above your nose until underneath your chin number two to make sure you practice social distancing one meter from yourself to the other person and number three is the easiest to always keep yourself clean by how washing your hands with soap and water adequately and now i'm sure you're wondering who is snow white and who is the evil queen let's have a look at their profiles There you have it. You have seen who Snow White is as well as the Evil Queen. With that, I would like to invite our teachers today and they are Miss Sylvia Shanti, anak perempuan Ravi, Ravi Chantiran from SK Jalan Gurni 2 Kuala Lumpur as well as Miss Ching Su Chi from SK Putrajaya Precinct 81 Putrajaya. Hello, my Evil Queen and hello, Snow White. How are you? How are, how are you today? <laughs> I've never asked the Evil Queen how are you. How are you, Evil Queen? I'm doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. Yes. Oh, that's good to hear. And Snow White, how did you feel after eating the apple? Hello, Hanif. I just felt like I rose from the dead <laughs> after I fell down. All right. Yeah. But rising from the dead and still looking very beautiful. And again, this is Miss Ching and Miss Sylvia. It's nice to meet the both of you. Please introduce yourself to the pupils at home. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Sylvia Shanti from SK Jalan Gurni 2. Nice to meet all of you. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Ching Suji. I'm from SK Pushrajaya Precinct 81. Nice to see you. It's very nice to meet the both of you as well. And our dear teachers, first I would like to invite you to sanitize your hands because we will always like to follow the SOPs. So Miss Sylvia, I would like to invite you first. Thank you. And while you're putting on your mask, Miss Ching, I'm going to sanitize yes. my hands and I will pass this hand sanitizer to you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And we're not, it's not just the three of us here. We also have other pupils online joining us today. Hello, everyone. Can you wave at us here? How is everyone doing at home? Are you feeling good? Give me a thumbs up. All right, that's brilliant. And everyone is in their costumes as well, looking beautiful. All right, they are from SK Jalan Gurni 2 Kuala Lumpur as well as SK Putrajaya Pressing 81 Putrajaya. I will mention your names one by one and please introduce yourselves. Yeah? We'll start with Enko Tua. Hi, my name is Enko Tua. I'm from SK Jalan Gurni 2. Kuala Lumpur. I'm 10 years old. I'm nice to meet all of you. 
Nice to meet you, Uncle Tua. You're a 10 year old king because I see a crown on top of your head there. And next we have Fatiha. Hello, Fatiha. Hello, everybody. I'm Fatiha Moha. I study at SK Jalan Geni Duo Kuala Lumpur. I'm 10 years old. I'm excited for today's lesson. That's the spirit. Very good, Fatiha. And next we have Kali. Hello, Kali. Hi everyone, I am Khalif Anwar from SK Jalan Geni 2. You can call me Khalif. I am 10 years old. I can't wait to learn today. Alright, I can see the enthusiasm there and he's also a king today. Nice to meet you, Khalif. So again, they are from SK Jalan Gurni Dua Kuala Lumpur and our next three pupils online is from, they are from SK Putrajaya Precinct 81 Putrajaya. We'll start with Ikan. Hello, my name is Ekan Sutrakantan. I'm from SK Putrajaya Persin 81 and I'm 10 years old and I'm very excited for today. Yes, I get your energy there. Thank you, Ekan. And we have next, Sharanya. Hi everyone, my name is Sharanya Daresami. I am from SK Putrajaya Persin 81. I'm 10 years old and I'm very, very excited for today's lesson. Yes, I can, I can see your excitement, my queen from what you're wearing today. Very nice. And next, we have Faith Zikra. Hello, Faith. Hi, friends. My name is Faith Zikra. I'm from SK Putrajaya Precinct 81. And I'm very, very excited to be in DD TV today. Yes, Miss Snow White Faith, it's so nice to meet you. There's a bit of a competition with our teacher, Miss Ching, here. We have two Snow Whites today. Very nice. Welcome. Welcome, pupils. It's so nice to see all of you. I'm sure all of you even at home are very excited to what we're going to learn today. So, Miss Sylvia, tell us, what are we going to learn together with all these characters going on? All right, as you can see, mirror, mirror on the wall. So today, we're actually doing a non-textbook-based lesson. It's a language arts lesson. So let me just go through the two learning standards that we will be learning for today. So we have got two here. The first one, 5.2.1, which is language arts. Say in simple words and phrases how a text makes them feel. And the second one, 2.1.1, which is a speaking learning standard. Explain and give reasons for basic opinions. Very good. And we will have um, activities with you throughout today's lesson. There will be three learning objectives. Okay, the first learning objective is we want you to be able to answer at least one open-ended question to show your opinion and your feelings based on the story that we are going to read. And number two, you are able to identify at least two regular and irregular verbs, past tense from the story. And number three, you should be able to make at least one sentence using the past tense of the verb. Regular or irregular in a tic-tac-toe game. Wow, Miss Ching. So we're going to play a game today? Yes, we are going to read a story, we are going to play games. A lot of fun stuff happening. Alright, I'm sure everyone is excited with that. We're going to read stories together and we're going to play a game. So everyone, please stay on because me and I was Evil Queen as well as Snow White. There's so many things that we're going to do together. Stay on and keep that excitement on d -Date TV KPM. KPM Dede TV KPM Mirror mirror on the wall who has the nicest hair of them all Of course it's you I know Thank you, Mirror. See, I have a very kind Mirror and I hope, I'm sure all of you have very kind Mirrors at home. Welcome back on d TV KPM and my name is Hanif Sean and today 
on level two slot we are learning english together and with me i have two teachers you might see them as the evil queen and snow white so the evil queen is miss sylvia shanti anak perempuan ravi chantiran from sk jalan gurni 2 kuala lumpur and snow white is miss ching suji from sk putrajaya pressing 81 putrajaya and teachers before we had our break you had shared with us about uh, you have shared with us that we're going to be telling stories and we're going to be playing games. So are we going to be telling stories right now? Yes. Okay. So, uh, dear pupils, based on the gimmick that we did earlier just now, can you guess what story we're actually going to read today? Anyone? Snow White. Yes, Ikan. I think it's Snow White. Ah, Snow White. Very good. So most of you would have heard or read this story before. As um, Mr. Hanif has mentioned, we are the dressed up as the characters, the Evil Queen and Snow White. So before the lesson... Yeah. All right. So today, we are going to take turns to narrate the story together. So all of you have actually been given parts to read before the class. So all you have to do is just refer to your parts and read them out. Okay, shall we begin? Maybe the host, you can play the part of the magic mirror. I'll be the, the magic yes. mirror. And then we'll have all of us to read our parts. Let's begin with Khalif. Once upon a time, there lived a lovely princess. She was so fair that she was named Snow White. Her stepmother, the queen, was very pretty, but she was also very pretty. Very good. Thank you, Khalif. She was very <coughs> cruel. What is the meaning of the word cruel, pupils? What does cruel mean? Anyone? Do Anyone I see knows any what is hands? cruel? Yes, Faith. Cruel is mean, like evil. Yes, cruel means mean, evil, doing bad things, right? So the queen is an evil one. Okay, next. She often asks her magic mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And the magic mirror would say, You are your majesty, but one day the the mirror replied, Snow White is the fairest of them all. <laughs> oh. Next. Yes, Ikan. The wicked queen was angry and jealous of Snow White. So she ordered her huntsman to take Snow White to the forest and kill her. But he took pity on her and set her free. Huh. She ordered her huntsman to take Snow White to the forest and kill her. Can anyone here tell me what is the meaning of the word huntsman? Yes, Khalif. The people who hunt animals. Ah, a huntsman is a person who goes out to hunt animals. Well done. Let's Next. continue. Faith. Snow White wandered in the forest all night crying. She came to a tiny cottage and went inside. There was nobody there. Feeling tired, she finally slept on one of the tiny beds. Thank you, Faith. So Snow White was wandering through the forest and she found a cottage. What is a cottage, friends? Do you know what is a cottage? Anyone? Do I see anyone raising his hand? I see, yes. Sharanya, what's a cottage? Cottage is a small house. Yes, a small house. Just like what you can see in front here, this is the example of a cottage. Very good. Tua, would you like to read this? Yes. Later, the seven dwarfs who live in the cottage came home and found Snow White sleeping. When she woke up and told them the story, they asked her to stay with them. Very good, Tua. So the seven dwarfs who lived in the cottage. Who are dwarfs? What are dwarfs? Anyone here knows? Oh, Tua wants to answer. What's a dwarf, Tua? Tua. The people or budak uh, kedil. Ah, little people, you're right. So in the story, it is all right to call them dwarfs. But in reality, people who are a little bit 
um, shorter in stature, we call them little people. So these are examples of dwarfs. Very good, thank you, Tua. Next. Meanwhile, in the palace, the wicked queen asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? <laughs> Snow White is the fairest of them all. She lives with the seven dwarfs in the woods. <laughs> oh no! Yes, Charanya. The wicked stepmother was fierce. She made a poisonous potion and dipped a shiny red apple into it. Then, she disguised herself as an old woman and went into the woods with the apple. That's right. She disguised herself as an old woman. Can anyone here tell me what is the meaning of the word disguised? Yes, Sharanya. Disguise means change yourself to become an old woman. Ah, so she changes her appearance to look like somebody else and in this story, to look like an old woman. Well done! Next, she knocked on the cottage door and said, Pretty little child, let me in. Look what I have for you. Snow White said, I am so sorry, old lady. I cannot let you in. But... That looks like a nice apple. When she took a bite, poor Snow White fell into a deep sleep. The wicked stepmother went back to the palace and asked the mirror. This time, the mirror replied, You are your majesty. And she was very happy. When the seven dwarfs came home to find Snow White lying on the floor, they were very upset. They cried all night and placed Snow White in a glass coffin in front of the cottage. Aha! Uh -huh. They placed Snow White in a glass coffin. What is a coffin? Not coffee, yeah? Coffin! <laughs> what is a coffin? Who would like to tell me? Yes, Ikan. A coffin is where they put people who have passed away. Ah, that's right. Precisely, it's actually a narrow box where you put someone who has already passed away. Very well done. Okay, but do you think that's the end of the story? It doesn't sound like that's the end of the story, right? What happened after that? So we are going to discuss a few questions and we'll see your answers. Are you ready? Okay, let's look at the first one. So what happened to Snow White at the end of the story? Can anybody tell me? Hmm. Yes, Khalif. Prince Charming kissed Snow White and saved her. And they got married and lived happily ever after. Aww. Wow. <laughs> That's a such sweet. a romantic yeah. ending. Oh, That's such a romantic charming. ending. <laughs> Good one, Khalif. Anyone else like to give me another answer? Yes, Faith. Snow White um, broke the curse by herself and banished the evil queen. Oh. Wow. Oh, that sounds very strong and yes, superior. That's right. And also very tragic, right? She banished yeah. the evil queen. But at least she didn't kill her. Good answers. <laughs> very good answers. Okay. Why uh, do you think? Miss yeah. Ching and Miss Sylvia, how many stars? Should we give to the two pupils who have answered? Ooh, today we're going to give them apples. Apples! So yes. She definitely deserves five apples. Five apples <laughs> to the both of you. Well done. Yes. Well done, yes. And we have the next question. Yeah, so I was about to ask them, why do you think the evil queen asked the huntsman to kill Snow White? Hmm. Does anyone want to tell me why? Uh, maybe Tua, I see you raising a hand. Yes, Tua. The, the queen is evil and she doesn't like Snow White. Yeah, that's right. The, the queen is evil. So it is natural for her to do evil things. She doesn't like Snow White. Why does she not like Snow White? Hmm. Anyone else has an answer? Sharanya, you raised your hand. The queen is jealous of Snow White. 
because no one is prettier than her. The oh. queen thinks she is the fairest in the land. Oh, that's a good answer. So the queen is jealous of Snow White because the queen wants to be the fairest and she's not happy that Snow White is the fairest. Could be the answer very good. Let's give them another five apples. Wow, well done to the both of you. So you have five apples there yes. each. <laughs> okay, let's look at the third question. Well, we all know that the huntsman did not kill Snow White. So why did the huntsman let Snow White go and not kill her? Can anyone here tell me? Yes, Faith. Snow White is... She did nothing wrong. There's no reason to kill her. Ah, Snow White did nothing wrong. She's a good person, right? There's no reason mm, to kill her. That is true. Sharp thinking, Faith. Anyone else like to give me another answer, perhaps? Yes, Ikan. The husband is a very good person and he took pity on Snow White, so he let, so he set her free. Ah, wow. so it's not just Snow White who is good, even the huntsman is also a good person. So he took pity, had compassion and he set her free. Well done! Well Five done. apples for you too! Five apples to the both of you. Well done, well done. Excellent. Do you have more questions, Miss Maybe Chin? we can have, yeah, there's one more here. So if you are one of the seven dwarfs, would you let Snow White stay with you? Hmm. What do you think? Would you let Snow White come into your house? I see Tua raising his hand again. Yes, Tua? Yes, because she is beautiful. She oh. has no way to go. She looks close. Oh wow, Tua has such a kind heart because she Snow does. White looks beautiful. He would allow Snow White into his house. Anyone else has a different opinion? Yes, Fateha. Maybe not because Snow White is a stranger and I do not know her or why she or why she is in the middle of the forest. Maybe she's a bad person. Oh wow, Fateha just gave a different opinion. Maybe Snow White is a bad person. We shouldn't trust people easily, right? That is That's true. That's why there's a lot of scammers nowadays. That is true. Good opinion, Fatiha. We should be careful. It's just like how Snow White wouldn't let the old lady in her house. Yes, yes. that's right. Okay, so we have another question, which is the last Ms. one Sylvia, here. Sylvia, sorry to interrupt yeah. you. Before we go to that question, do they deserve five apples as well? Oh yes, each of honey, them? definitely. Five for each of them. Five apples for each of you. Well done. And we have our <laughs> last question here. Yes, that's, that's right. right. Okay, so did Snow White do the right thing by taking the apple? Why? What do you think? Did she do the right thing by taking the apple? Yes, Khalif. No, I won't take the apple. It's suspicious. No one will give you free apples. They will give you one ringgit or five ringgit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very interesting yes. answer, Kali. Nobody's going to give you apples for free, right? Yes, yes. you have to pay for your yes. apples. It's quite expensive these days. That's right, it's suspicious. Sharp thinking, Kali. Anyone else like to give me another answer? Yes, Sharanya. If I'm Snow White, I might take the apple because she is an old lady and maybe she is just being kind and helpful. Aww, Aww. She has a really, really good heart. Yes. Yeah. So if you think someone is kind, someone looks good and you think you should help them, yeah, why not? That's right. That is true. So there are a few moral, less, moral values that we can learn from the story. Am I right? Any one of you want to tell me what is the moral value, Ikan? I see you raise a hand. What do you think you can learn from this story? We should not talk to strangers. Okay. Mm, <laughs> yes. That is true. Don't talk to strangers. Maybe one more. Anyone? Ah, okay. Khalif. Whatever turns around, come around. What goes around comes around. Don't do evil things to people. Oh, that is very how true. About Faith, she raised her hand. Okay, last answer from Faith. Don't be jealous. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. Very oh, true as well. Very that's true as right. well. That's right. Well done, everyone. That's very true. Don't easily trust someone and don't be jealous because we are all beautiful in our own way. That is lots true. Lots and lots of apples for 
all of you. For Mr. all of you. Yes. Well done. So you can enjoy your apple because we're going to take a short break. All right. So while we take a short break again, get your pen, get your papers, get your apples ready because we have so much more to do after this. I think we'll be playing a game. That's Sarah, right. So we'll be playing a game together. Stay tuned with us on DDAT TV KPM. KPM DD TV KPM Mmm mm. This is so lovely mm. Really lovely apple that I have here and I'm sure all of you have heard of the quote An apple a day keeps the doctor away Why? Again, we should take our fruits, we should take our vegetables Every day it gives you energy, it gives you vitamins And you will look good and you look fresh That's very important And welcome back on DDAT TV KPM Today we're learning together a slot for level 2 English And our topic today is mirror mirror on the wall And who do I have with me? I have definitely Snow White and I have the Evil Queen And they are Miss Sylvia Shanti Anak perempuan Ravi Chantiran from SK Jalan Gurni Dua Kuala Lumpur Who's our Evil Queen today but she's not evil definitely And also we have Miss Ching Suji from SK Putrajaya Persing 81 Putrajaya The beautiful Snow White on my far left there Alright my dear teacher So before we took, before we had the break we were, we were telling a story We were telling the Snow White story And you mentioned that we'll be playing a game now. What game are we going to play? Okay, honey. So actually, just now, all right. In the story, you had if you had noticed, there were some words that were actually highlighted in bold. So these words are actually verbs. They are words that show action. Yes, because the story is written a long, long time ago. These verbs or action words are written in the past tense. Now, in the past tense, they are regular and irregular verbs. Okay, let's begin with regular verbs. So for all regular verbs, they actually end with an ed. And for most words, you just have to add ed at the back. Just like the word order, I just have to add ed, it becomes ordered. Can someone else give me another example? Yes, Sharanya. Knock, knock. Well done, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Good job. Yes, yeah, so we add the ED. But how about words that already end with an E? What do we do then? We just need to add the letter D. So for example, lift, lift. Can someone give me another example? Do I see anyone raising their yes, hands? We have yes, Tua. Tua. Name, name. Very good. Name, it ends with an E. So we add a D, it becomes named in the past tense. Okay, then we do have some words that actually end with a Y, like the word reply. So for these kind of words, we just have to remove the Y and add IED. So reply, replied. Can someone else give me another example from the story? Yes, yes. Fatiha. Fatiha, go ahead. Cry, cried. That's right. Cry, cried. Well done. Do they deserve apples? Oh yes, we need to buy more yes. apples for them. <laughs> all, all the apples are for you. Yes. Well done, well done to all of you. And there's one more. What mm. if the word ends with a vowel and a consonant like dip? The evil queen dipped the apple. So dip becomes dip. We double the consonant at the back. Can someone give me another example from the text? A vowel and a consonant. Yes, Faith. Hug, hug. Yes, it is not in the text, but you are right. Hug ends with a vowel U and consonant G. So we have to double the consonant. It becomes hugged. H-U-G-G-E-D. So all regular verbs end with an E-D. Okay, 
For irregular verbs, they do not end with an ed. Instead, for most of them, the whole word changes. All right. So one of the examples that we have here is like sleep, slept. Another one, take, took. Now some words they don't change at all. So for example, the word set. In the past tense, it's also set. Ah, so these are some exceptions to the rules. Who can give me other examples of irregular verbs? Verbs that change. Yes, Khalif. King Khalif. Go, went. Go and ah. went. Very good. One more? Go, went. Can I have one more? Yes, yes we have from Ikan. Ikan. Find is found. Find and found. Yes, very good. So now I think we can test all of you. Yes, so can you apply these spelling rules to a few questions where you will see some underlined words. So all you have to do is just change it to the past tense. Let's have a look at the first question. Great, I'm oh. sure everyone is ready. Okay, right, those of you who are at home, see. you can look at the examples here. I'm sorry, I forgot okay, to Those show. at home can also try out this question. Who would like to try this one? First question. First question, can I see a Fateha? raise of hand? Yes, Fatima. Yes. When Snow White took a bite of the apple, she fainted. Oh. So she fainted. That's right. Fainted. fainted. Very good. Well done. She had ED over there. Well done. Five apples for Fatiha. Next one. Anyone wants to try the next one? Oh, Ikan has raised her hand. The evil queen left the cottage before anyone saw her. Okay, Ikan says leave the past tense is left. Shouldn't it be leave with a D at the back? Because mm. it ends with an E. Mm. What do you think, boys and girls? Anyone wants to give me a reason? Yes, yes Sharanya. Teacher, this is irregular verb. So it does not end with an ED. Oh, very good answer, Sharanya. Leave is an irregular verb. So the whole word changes to left. Well done. Okay, let's look at the third question. Who would like to try this one? Yes, Tua. Snow White tidied the house when the dwarves were working. Well done! Snow White tidied the house. So she, he removed the Y and at I E D over there. Well wonderful, done, Tua. Wonderful. More apples for him? More apples. Great, more, more apples. apples. How many apples should we give Tua? Five. Five, Five apples. How apples. about Sharanya in the previous question? Five as well. Wow, there are a lot of apples. We don't have enough apples right now to mention. <laughs> we need to All buy. Right. We need to buy more apples. <laughs> yes. Alright, for the next question. And one last question. Who would like to try this? Yes, Faith. The dwarves put Snow White in a glass coffin. The past tense is put, so the sentence is dwarves put Snow White in the glass coffin. Okay, so Faith says that the past tense is put. Shouldn't it be putted if we have the vowel and the consonant? Someone wants to tell me why? We have Khalif, King Khalif. Yes, Khalif. Teacher put is irregular verb like said. So the verb doesn't change. Oh, very good, Khalif. Put is just like set, so we cannot say putter. Very good, Khalif. Well done. Five apples for Faith and Khalif. Well, five apples for all of you for trying. So, to yeah, there are actually exceptions to the rules. There are some words that don't follow these rules. So how do we actually know when do we make these exceptions? Well, Lots and lots of practice and also reading. The more you practice, you will get better at it. That is true. I have a question. Oh, yes. I have a question. So if I say that I actually, I eat this apple yesterday, what, why will that fall? Would it be a regular verb or irregular verb? Irregular verb. Yes, would because it, be... it doesn't end with an ed, mm -hmm. so it's eight. So, I ate, ate the, the apple, apple yesterday. yesterday. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Do I get five apples as well? Yes, definitely. I will take them now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, maybe we can quickly move on to the next game. The, the game that we are going to play, it's actually a tic-tac-toe. Miss tic -tac Sylvia, game. would you like to explain it? Alright. So, um, how should we do this? Oh, we should have them in teams first. 
Yeah, let's divide you into teams. Wow. How, How should teams we do, do the we teams? Ah, Two Khalif teams. has a yeah. Khalif has a suggestion. Yes. All right. Teacher, let's do boys versus girls. Okay, wow. let's do boys versus girls. Team boys, the team kings will be red apples, and team princesses, you will be green apples. All right. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so earlier in the story, you actually know what happened to Snow White. But then what about the other characters like the Evil Queen, the Huntsman, the Seven Dwarfs? So we, we would like for you to share what do you think happened to these characters? Yes, so in your groups, you will first choose a grid. Anywhere on this tic-tac-toe, if you look at your screen, choose one grid, give us a sentence and your teammates will identify the verb that you have used and you will get to place your apple there. So if you get your answer right, then you can place your apple on the grid and the first team that forms a straight line will win the game. Wow, so they would just need to choose each letter, yes, whichever any letter that they, they would like. Any oh, that they you want. have to have your strategies, my friends. Okay, yes. please remember that. Okay. okay, shall we start? Let's start, let's start. All right, so excited. would like to start? Yes, yes, Ikan. Pick King a voice first. Yes. King Ikan. Greet E. E. Okay, you went for the middle. Sentence. The dwarfs lived happily ever after with Snow White and the prince. Ah, the dwarfs lived happily ever. Can, can somebody tell me what was the verb that Ikan used in this sentence? What was the verb that he used? Yes, Kali. Lived. 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 Well done. So you have okay. got an apple there. You got More an apples. apple on your screen. All right, team girls. Who would like to go first? All right. Faith. Pri Princess Faith. Faith looks excited. Give us a sentence, Faith. Um, can I do grid H? Grid H. H. All right. What's your sentence, okay. Faith? The prince killed the evil queen. The prince killed the evil queen. Oh, no. Girls, what is the verb used by Faith? Yes, Sharanya? Killed. Killed. Okay, let's see if that's the correct verb. That's right. Wow. Well done, girls. Okay, now it's team boys. All right, Who would boys. like to go next? You're, I'm on your side here. <laughs> Khalif. Yes, Khalif. Pick a green. I want to try green A. Green, green A. a. Good okay. choice. Hmm. Okay, give me the a sentence. The queen worked for Snow White as a maid in the palace. Oh. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, the verb for Snow White. Can anybody tell me from Team Boys what was the verb that he used? Yes, Ikan. Worked. 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 That's worked. correct. Well done. Oh, you've wow. got an apple there. Oh, no. Are the boys like leading, Miss Ching? Team Boys are going to win if oh. the team girls don't stop them. Yes. Who wants to go next, girls? Fatiha. Choose a greet, Fatiha. Greet. I. Good choice. Give us a sentence, Fateha. The evil queen was banished to a dungeon. Oh. She was banished to a dungeon. The evil queen was banished to a dungeon. What is the verb here? Girls? Uh, okay, go, Faith. Banished? Banished. Mm. Okay, so this is a regular verb. She added ed. Very good. Wow. Well done! And you're already eh? blocking the boys oh, there. No. Oh yeah, no! Yeah, team boys! Good. You have to go next. Yes, but do they deserve apples, teachers? Oh, yes, they deserve definitely, apples. definitely. For their Five correct answers. Apples. Five yes. answers Five for your correct answers. Correct. Well done. Alright, boys, Who's we need to win next? this. Who's going next? Can I see anyone? Yes, yes. Tua. <laughs> Pick a greet first. Choose wisely, Tua. I want greet E. Ooh, greet, greet D. Greet G, I Greet think. G? You said G, G, right? Ah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Tua. They stay in the cottage, but sometimes they visit Snow White in the palace. Ah, so the dwarves, they stayed in the cottage, but sometimes they visit Snow White. Can anyone here tell me what was the verb that he used here? Yes, Khalif. Stay. Stay. Very good. Wow. Okay. Well done. Okay, that's one more apple for Team Boys. They get apples as well? Yes. But Miss Ching and Miss Sylvia, we will need to take a short break before we continue with okay. the game. And all of us, I'm sure we're wondering, 
who will win this game? Yes. We're all racing here. <laughs> Jingles so, are at the edge of their seats. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure they are. And I'm sure our pupils at home as well are wondering, oh no, who's going to win? And we have more apples for you after our break. Stay tuned with us on d TV KPM. d TV KPM. TV KPM. Welcome back on D Day TV KPM, and I'm holding an apple in my hand here. And you know what? I would like to share with you my favorite fruit is actually mango and durian. And I know, Mama, you're watching this and you love durian as well. Let me try and find some when I get back later, all right? Again, my name is Hanif Sean, and today we're learning English together for level two slot. And our topic today is mirror, mirror on the wall and with me i have two teachers and they are miss sylvia and miss ching we, we, we were playing a game before we took a break we played tic-tac-toe and i think everyone is on the edge of their seat to know who's gonna win where we see three red apples representing the boys team and we have two green apples representing the girls team wow so who do we go with next yes now we will continue with team girls right i believe there's one one of you who have not answered who should go next sharanya yes which breed would you like to choose sharanya hmm teacher i pick grid c grid c all right sharanya can you tell us what is your sentence the huntsman became one of snow white's royal gods the huntsman became one of snow white's royal gods very good can someone tell me what is the verb that Sharanya used? Yes, Faith. Became. Became. So that's an irregular verb. Become. The past tense is became. Wow. Very good. So there's a green apple there on your grid and I'm sure they deserve apples as well. Yes. yes. So now it looks like both of them <gasps> are about to win. I am very nervous and now I think it's the boys team. Yes. To go, it's right? Your turn. Who Choose like your grid go? wisely, yes. my next king. Tua. Yes, Tua. <laughs> I choose a uh, grid D. Great I agree D. with D. that. <laughs> I agree oh, with no. that. <laughs> Give me a sentence. The husband ran from the palace because he was afraid. Ah, the huntsman ran from the palace because he was afraid. Can the boys team identify what was the verb used here? Hmm. Ikan think, has raised his hand. Think wisely, Ikan. We need to win this. Ikan. Ran. That's right. Well done. You got a straight line. Looks like the boys <laughs> team won the game. That is true. That is true. And again, apples for them for yes. answering correctly. Congratulations, five apples for all of you. You have achieved your second and your third learning objective. All Very, right. Yes, congratulations to the boys team and girls team. You all are amazing as well. And you know what? I think we will try again this game someday and we'll see. I'm sure the princesses will win then. That's right. Yeah, so maybe before we end today's session, we could um, listen to some of your feedback. All right. So can you tell me what is your biggest takeaway from today's lesson? Anyone would like to share? Yes, Faith. Teacher, we learned about past tense. Ah, that's right. We learned about past tense. Anyone else would like to go next? Yes, Sharanya. Teacher, today we learn on regular and irregular verb to the story. That's right, regular and irregular verbs. Maybe one more, Miss J. Yes, one more. Let's have one yes, more. Yes, Ikan. We learned the story of Snow White. Oh, oh yes. That's right. right. So I think they have very beautifully summarized our lesson for today. In the um, earlier when we read the story of Snow White, uh, we have shared opinions and we have shared feelings so that's the first learning objective and they have also um, identified verbs regular and irregular that's the second learning objective and they have made sentences in the tic-tac-toe game using the regular and irregular verbs so that's the third 
learning objective. Well done to all of you. That is true, Miss Ching. And I'm sure our pupils at home, they are wondering if I would like to learn more. Where can I go to find more information? Good question. For more information and the worksheet and additional materials, please visit Sumberku. Yes, that's right. Visit Sumberku and you can see the link now on the screen of your TV. Check out the link and go and surf online and study even harder. And with that, I would like to thank our teachers today, Miss Sylvia Shanti, Anak Perempuan Ravi Chantiran from SK Jalan Gerdi Dua Kuala Lumpur, who's our evil queen here. And of course, Miss Ching Su Chi from SK Putrajaya, Persing Lapan Satu Putrajaya, who's the beautiful Snow White on my far left. And definitely, I would like to thank our pupils online. And they are Engku Tuah, Fatiha, Kali from SK Jalan Gurni Dua, Kuala Lumpur. Well done to the three of you. And of course, Ikan, Sharanya and Faith from SK Putrajaya, Persing Lapan Satu Putrajaya. The three of you as well, well done. And all of you deserve apples, yes. don't they? Don't they, they did really, really well yes, today. Yes, congratulations. So all of these apples are for you. 10 apples for everyone. Well done. Well done. And of course, to our pupils at home, I hope you enjoyed our session today, our little game and the storytelling together. And please continue to stay on with us on d -Date TV KPM because there's so much more to learn together. And with that, again, thank you so much, teachers. Thank you so much, pupils online and pupils at home. All right, now, while we end, I think we'll be telling a bit of a story at the end. Yes, right. yes, we'll be Let's. telling a bit of a story, and I hope you'll continue to enjoy our story here. Teachers, shall we go forward? Sure. Yes. Thank you. you want to hold this one? Right. So we're holding the dwarfs <laughs> yes, here. Snow White's yes. dwarfs. All right. Let's go in front, and let's start our story. At the cottage where the seven dwarfs lived. La 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 la, sing a happy song. La 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 la, cheer up all day long. Oh, what are we having for dinner today? Um, I cooked. Hmm. Who cooked dinner today? Did you? I did. Wow. Please tell me you didn't make your famous lumpy pie again. Ugh. We shouldn't say like that. The pie was not lumpy. It actually had gravy in it. Ah, achoo! Ah, Oh, I sneezed twenty-seven times today. When will it stop? Achoo! Twenty-eight. And fine time you picked to sneeze too, all over our dinner. Come everyone, let's gather around. I think we have a meal today. Oh, 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 Happy, please read us the meal. Oh, there's a meal, do we? Yes, there's a red mailbox here. And I'm sure there's a meal inside. That's right. And what surprise do we have in there? Dear, happy, dog, bashful, sleepy, dopey, sneezy and grumpy. How are you? I missed you all very much. I know I said I won't eat apples anymore, but last week the prince made an apple pie and I ate it. It was so good! Please come and visit soon. Snow White. Aww. Oh, let's visit Snow White! We miss Snow White. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. We're all going to see Snow White now. Did it TV? KPM